Let's roll sound. Sound speed. Roll camera. Speed. 2006 take one. Marker. Action! Everybody loves a good success story. But it's about this climb, this journey up. That's, that's the most important thing. Nobody sees your struggle for several years. Everybody just wants to see you at the plateau and be like, oh man, you good. How'd you get here? You shoot videos is about the culture, first of all. I want to say that right off the top. It's about a young cat named Moji growing up in Kansas City who has these large dreams and aspirations to become a filmmaker. And his entryway into the industry is like a lot of young storytellers in music videos. With everything that I create, I always want it to be something that's relatable. I always want people who may not have felt heard, I want to make them feel heard. Something that was really important for me to highlight was the aspect of being a one-man band. I feel like so many young filmmakers all across the world can relate to that dynamic. They always say, write what you know, and you know, when I think of this film, you know, I was 18 and 19 running around like shooting these one-man band music videos, and so uh, I always try to, to write films that are really authentic and true to me. Partnering with Adoram on this film has been absolutely incredible. They've been so supportive of my vision, and it's really, really beautiful to work with brands who just get it, you know? When you think about what Adorama does, you know, they're putting gear in the hands of people like Moji, you know, people who are using this equipment day in and day out. And so I couldn't think of a better company to partner with on this film. The process of blending Moji's story with my story was really, really incredible and exciting. And you know, when you've got an actor like Denzel Whitaker portraying this role, you can't really go wrong. When you show up, Coop asks you, how's your spirit? That's just so dope. <laughs> He says, how's your spirit, how's your spirit? He's always spreading love. Like this project is already special to me just because of the people I got to work with here. Kansas City, how they open their doors, but especially watching Coop because he's directing, he's the cinematographer, he's the writer. He knows exactly what he wants. And what's impressive is that he knows how to light it, how to shoot it, how the art directions should look. It's just incredible to watch him work because his mind is able to see all of these things. Johnny Stark produced this project, but he was also my first AD. And Johnny and I have worked together for years, and he is, he's just my ace gunner. There's no other way to put it. Johnny frees up so much bandwidth where I could just focus on being creative. I decided to both direct and shoot this film for several reasons. One, I knew I had the support of an incredible cast and an incredible crew. I felt like I had a really good understanding of what I wanted to do with the camera, with the visualization, and uh, you know, with a great crew, you find a way to make it work. There's a choreography between the artist who's in front and everybody who's behind. Whether you're a one-man band or your entire crew, like there's this dance, there's this language that's unsaid. And that's kind of the beauty of filmmaking in cinema. A project like this, you're in pre-production for months, making sure every single detail is ironed out. Our first big challenge was day two, we lost one of our shooting locations, 8.30 p.m. the night before a 6.30 a.m. call time. It was almost serendipitous because what ended up on the final frame was perfect. So sometimes those challenges happen and those problems come up. You get these creative bursts to problem solve. At the end of the day, sometimes it's just how it was meant to be. Moji's apartment, the location that we used, was actually my first apartment out of high school. I was able to capture these very intimate moments of Moji's life in a space that was really the beginning of my journey. And to come full circle with so many people I love, just talking about it now is making me emotional because of how special that space was to me. And I really can't say enough about that moment. Coop and I both love Kansas City. I mean, this is our home. We've been working here. We love everything about this city. And to be able to bring a project like this here is just a dream come true for us. There truly is no place like Kansas City. Some of the best people that you will ever meet live right here in Kansas City. When people think of the film industry, they think of the hubs, LA, New York, Chicago, New Orleans, but right here in the heart of America is some of the most hardworking technicians in the industry, period, bar none. There's so much passion in this town that is just waiting to be seen. Everyone in Kansas City was just happy that we were telling a Kansas City story. You know, for people to see themselves in the city they love and live in, it's just a beautiful thing. You Shoot Videos has so many real relatable characters in it. Anyone who is passionate about a craft will relate to this film. It's about getting better at your craft and not waiting for someone to tell you that you can get better. 
It's that you just, you will. After being with these people, after just feeling the love in KC, seeing Coop, how passionate he is about it, like passion feels passion. This means so much, it feels like I'm finally telling my story. And that's all I really want to do from the jump as an artist. When somebody watches you shoot videos, I want them to, of course, be entertained, but at the same time, be inspired to tell their own story. That's really, really important for me. When, when people watch my work, I want it to extend beyond the screen into their life in, in one way, shape, or form. We've all been a beginner. <laughs> you know, we've all been a beginner trying to figure it out, you know, and so this is an homage to you. And if you show up, you're good enough. That's, all, that's what it comes down to. There's never a perfect time. You just gotta get up and go out and do it, and I think everybody can relate to that.